going to go to the cross country program at Bakersfield Christian High School where Coach uh, Jordan Points will introduce his uh, gal runner, uh, Gabby Lugo, and his boy runner, Jack Hank. Well, thank you guys for having us. Uh, thank you to the Jockey Club, um, my athletic director, Blake Vandersham, um, my school uh, the principal. He's sick today. He can't be here. Um, but thank you to him for everything he's done for, for us and my program. Um, I'll start with Gabby. Uh, Gabby's a junior. Um, recently, she, she started cross country her sophomore year. And um, we, we, uh, we've come a long way. I think she's, she's gone from a place where she kind of enjoyed it to a place where she really loves the sport. And running, if you don't run at first, you don't look at it like it's the best thing ever um, because people question why you run in the first place. Um, but in that year's time, she's grown into loving the sport and really dedicating her, her summers to it, her extra time to it, and all these little things that kids, uh, they just want to go out and have fun with their friends and, and enjoy their teen years. And, and she's just focused on, on trying to get better and improving herself and more importantly, improving her team. Um, I know we had one race where she was kind of focused on running a certain time and, and, and all these things and it got to her and she didn't have her best race and, and the next week we were just talking, don't worry about it, you got to put in the past and, and she's like, you know what, that's right, I'm just going to run for my team, I'm going to run for God and I'm going to do these little things and not worry about the individual achievements because they'll probably come and, and they did. She ended up dropping a whole like minute and ten seconds in just four days on the same race um, and she ended up winning her league. Um, for the SSL, and then the week later she went to go win the Valley for uh, her Valley <coughs> in, uh, for Rachel Christian. And she helped our team to the first Valley Championship we've ever had for running, um, which was uh, really incredible. Um, she's a constant uh, uh, leader without leading. Um, she, she, she'll do everything without saying things, and the kids just follow in her footsteps. Um, she doesn't really see it, I think, uh, as much as it happens, but the kids are constantly trying to get catch her at races and catch her at practices, and, and that's making them better. And, and obviously, um, they're making her better by doing so. Um, she has so much respect for everyone she comes by, um, and she's just always running for God first, and, and I couldn't be more um, proud and more pleased to have her as a, one, of, one of my runners, and I'm definitely excited she's just a junior, and she'll come back next year even, even stronger and, and more tax state. And, well, thank you, Jockey Club, for this award and my coach. I'm very honored. Um, I want to thank um, our athletic director, Blake, for all the hard work he's done for our program and my coach for all the time and effort he's invested in our team and for making running enjoyable. <laughs> That's really hard and I enjoy it. I used to not, but now I. I really, I really like it, and I want to thank my parents for, for the love and support they give me, and for God, for all the blessings he's given to me. Thank you. Uh, the next athlete, Jack Han, um, I met him probably in January, or I think it was December. He came up to me, he's a tennis player, and he came up to me, he's like, well, I'm thinking about running track. And I'm like, okay, cool. And, and not knowing much about him, I was like, sure. And I think that's, that's great. Let's see what we can do. And he comes out his first race in, um, I want to say, end of February, beginning of March. Um, and he, he goes and he runs a 53. And, and he had not, not really any training in it. And so I'm like, okay, a 53 with no training, this is, this is kind of exciting. Let's see what we can do. Um, and the whole season we spent trying to figure out, if, is he a sprinter, is he a long distance runner, is he a mid distance runner? In his mind, I'm pretty sure he thought he was a sprinter, and sometimes he still thinks he is. Uh, but I think, I think he's more going to be more of a mid-distance, long-distance runner, and, and uh, slowly he's come around to that idea, and, and we got him training in the summer, um, and I think uh, we added it up the other day, and he's, he's gotten about 700 miles since uh, August in under him, so he's going to have a lot of base going into track. And he's, he's a guy who, who I think there's so much untapped potential um, and so it's very exciting to see what he can do. Um, this season in cross country, he went from, uh, I don't know, 16, 18 all the way down to 15, 50s, um, which was a great improvement for first year running. Uh, and he ended up finishing uh, fifth in the league, you know, fourth in the league. Yeah, and he's, he's our first boy who's ever made it to state for our program, which was pretty amazing to see. Um, he's, uh, he's always leading the boys and, and pushing them harder. Uh, he's always wanting to do a little bit extra. And you always hear about the great athletes who want to go on, go above and beyond what you're doing just to get everything in them. 
Um, he's also always dedicating his Fridays to volunteering um, three hours at the San Joaquin. San Joaquin uh, and he's, he's just spending his time constantly um, bettering himself, helping others, and just constantly learning. Um, he's, kind of, he's come a long way. He's going to go even further, I'm sure, uh, in the future. And I can't wait to have him back out for track as he'll be doing both tennis and track at the same time, which is not an easy thing to do. Um, and it's going to be exciting to see what he can do this year with all this grace on him. So, Jack.